We are an impact company that makes chocolate, not the other way around. We're successful commercially and make a positive impact in West Africa. Our way of working works. And no chocolate company has an excuse not to do it the same way. Our revenue was 69.6 million euros. Our goal this year was 100 million, but we rose to 88.4 million euros. That's a nice 27% growth. But we're ambitious and aim for 30 to 35% next year. Our gross margin jumped from 44.4%, 42.4%, where 40% was our goal. This includes the living income premium and the CO2 compensation of our bean to bar chain. We're raising the bar and expect to pass by the 44% next year. The net profit margin landed at 0.3%, where we were aiming for 4%. Next year, we're going for at least 1.5%, reflecting our positive trend of the past two years. We sourced 6,711 tons of cocoa from seven partners in Ghana and Ivory Coast, and 8,452 farmers received the Tony's premium. The amount of cocoa farmers that participated in the child labor awareness sessions more than doubled, from a bit over 25,000 to more than 55,000. There were 387 cases of child labor found, and 221 of them solved. The percentage of Choco fans that are aware of modern slavery on cocoa farms rose to 72% in the Netherlands, 28% in the UK, 34% in Germany, and 24% in the USA. We need our serious friends because we can't do this alone. They grew from almost 20,000 to more than 65,000. Together, we're changing the system, making impact for social change.